Another sleepless night. Good morning, New York. Hello, Mrs. Oswald. Good morning, Mr. Wright. Good morning. Well, how are you? Say good morning to Mr. Wright, Tommy. Morning, sir. It's a little better this morning, but we had a pretty restless night. Tommy had bad dreams. I already called our lawyer. He promised to investigate the authorities. I can see. Central Services repaired your door already, huh? The lock still needs to be adjusted. You know what those people from Central Services are like. Well, I would like to be some kind of help, if you'll let me, that is. Nobody disappears just like that. Do you have that much time? I don't want you to get into any trouble. It's... Oh, no, don't worry. It'll be okay. I only have to show up briefly at the agency later. Otherwise, my boss will be all over me. But fortunately, our campaign is not starting for another two weeks. I'll try to get a few days off. I'll check on you later. That's really nice of you. Can I ask you some other things? Maybe we can find your husband much faster then. Yeah, sure. Just go ahead and ask. What line of work is your husband in? He was an online journalist. I mean, he is an online journalist. Oh, God, I'm at my wit's end. I can imagine that. Because this incident yesterday scared the heck out of me, too. But I'm sure we can sort everything out pretty soon. Probably they got some data mixed up. Something like that happens at our agency all the time. I'm sure we'll find your husband before you even know he was gone. Or what was he working on most recently? Oh, he didn't talk much in the past few weeks. I'm not exactly sure. He seemed to be worried, but I have no idea what he was really up to. That could be a lead. You mean his arrest has something to do with his work? It's possible. We'll find out. How can I reach his office? He's a freelancer, Mr. Wright. He works for several papers. Does that mean he investigates and writes everything as a freelancer? And then sells his completed stories to the e-papers? Exactly. May I ask you one more thing? Do you have a recent picture of him that I could have? Nothing recent. Graham doesn't like to be photographed. Not even at family gatherings. I believe Tommy has the only relatively recent picture of him. Can I see it? Oh, you, you can't really recognize him on it. He gave the photo to Tommy because he thought he looked so cool in it. He does look cool, Mom. Would it be okay if I talked to Tommy for a moment? You can see that he's very down. This whole thing is just too much for him. Don't you have kids yourself? I saw a box of toys in the elevator when you moved in. I... yeah. I have a son. Oh? Maybe he and Tommy would like to meet. Yeah, maybe. I think I have to get going now. I'll get in touch with you by messenger in case I hear something. Either by messenger or otherwise I'll call you here directly. Thanks, Mr. Wright. Hey, tell me. How you doing? Hi, sir. Um, everything all right with your teddy? Yeah. You're not in the mood to chat, huh? You're missing your dad. Mr. Wright, I don't think that that's the right... Are you going to help us so Dad will come home? That's... I will try that, yeah. Would you like to tell me a little bit about your dad? Dad is cool. He works at the computer. He tells everybody if the politicians are dumb guys, you know. 
He is a journalist. Yeah, I know. Well, and what are you two up to when he's not working? Dad takes me fishing and to Virtual Palace. And he always brings back cool presents when he returns. Was it your dad who gave you the teddy as well? Yeah, of course. But I was a baby then, like two or three years old or so. Actually, it's not really cool to have a teddy. Why would you say that? He's so special to you because you got him from your dad, right? Mom repaired his eye twice already. Of course. Such a teddy is a great thing to have. Everybody could use a bear as a friend. My son had one too, and he loved him dearly. Even though he wouldn't admit it very often. His buddies from school made fun of him sometimes, but most of them probably had a little teddy or something like it somewhere as well. Maybe watching over their sleep. It would be good if grown-ups had a teddy too to watch out for them. Then Dad maybe would be here now. You might be absolutely right. You and your dad, you've been to the virtual palace? What do you do there? Virtue skating? We played Maze Hunter with full body suits. Maze Hunter? Don't you have to be ten already to play it? That means you must be a really tough little guy, right? As far as I know, maze hunting requires a whole lot of climbing and jumping. Especially if you get past level one. I have the third Dan now in Maze Hunter. And Dad says next year I can do level four. Wow, that's really good. By the way, did you ever climb a tree? I mean a real one? Of course in the park. And I'm really good at it too. But now I can't go there alone. Mom says there are too many weird people there. Tell me all about it. What was the last gift from your dad? An alien, and nobody else has that one. Like the one in Roswell. And even talks. Oh really? Cool. What does he say when he talks? If you push the left eye, he says something like, Ad, 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 ad. And if you push the other eye, he says, Nice planet. We'll take that one. Got that. Somehow that sounds familiar to me. Where did he buy him? I don't know. Hmm. And you said he just bought the alien figure recently? Yep. Let me ask you this. Could I maybe borrow this figure for a little bit? No, better not. What do you want it for anyway? Well, I thought this figure could help us find your dad. Toys can't really do that. Of course not. Toys can't do that. What I meant was, maybe we could ask somebody where the alien was sold. And that could give us a clue what your dad did before he got arrested. That way, we might be able to find him. No, I don't want to give it to you. What if my alien disappears too? And if we trade? Trade? For what? I have a Mr. Nuke. Do you know him? Of course. But only one big kid from daycare has one. They only had him at Toy Galaxy for a short time, and then only in gold brownie packages. And we couldn't get one because they sold out very fast. All of them. And I was very sad because we didn't get one. But don't you need him for your kid? I... no. Probably not. Can I see him? Sure. J just a second. I'll get him. Can I ask you something else? Sure. What is it? I have to take care of something first, Tommy. Thank you very much. You helped me a lot. See you later. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's Mr. Nuke. Come on, superhero. I think somebody needs you.
Hello, Mrs. Oswald. Tommy, it's me again. I would like to ask you something else. Okay. About your dad's picture. Can I have it? I don't want to keep it forever. Just until we find your dad. Hmm. Can you get it for me? It is in my backpack. It's my favorite picture. Here. You'd better not break it. I'll take very good care of it. Your dad didn't tell you by any chance where this photo was taken. He said it's a secret. Nobody is allowed to know. Uh-huh. And why was nobody supposed to know this? Did he say that too? Dad wanted it to be a surprise. A surprise? Uh-huh. Your dad is a pretty mysterious man. Patrick's action figure. He loved it. Here, Tommy. Look. Say hi to Mr. Nuke. I found him in the drawer where Patrick's toys are. You like him? Yeah, sure. Listen, let's make a deal. Just between us guys. You let me borrow your alien figure, and I'll leave Mr. Nuke with you instead. As a pawn. What do you say? Uh, do I get him back when I want to play with him? Of course, any time. Scout's on her. Can I, Mom? Please? Of course, Tommy. Super. Wait here, sir. Okay. Treat him really good. Okay, now I'm going to check how your alien figure can help me, too. Bye, mister. Mom, can I play in my room now? Okay, I'll make you some french fries later. What a nice kid. Yeah, it's not easy for him. The shock will come later. Better I'll leave now, so you can be alone for a while. If I have any news, I'll call you. Thanks a lot. That's the doll Tommy Oswald gave me. An unbelievably ugly alien. Wonder where his father dug that one out. That must be the old floor toilet. I don't have the key. The super told me that they shut it down quite some time ago. Apparently there was some problem with the ventilation. Something about exhaustion fumes from the subway. Another brand new day. At least it stopped raining. Who do we have here? Hi, Peter. Beautiful day, isn't it? Everything okay with you? Yeah, well, I'm doing all right. Come on, Peter. You can't ruin every day for me. What the hell is going on with you? It's really nothing. I'm just a little bit overworked. Overworked? You look more like you're lovesick. Or an ulcer. Or both. Something like that. And how's it coming on in your apartment? Do you like it? Have you finished furnishing it? Yeah, of course. It's Totally cozy. You know what, Peter? 
Starting today, I'm not going to sell you any more whiskey. Your answers are getting shorter all the time. I think your speech center is suffering. <laughs> You're such a nice guy, Bob. It's good to have you around. Well, that sounds better. You're still not getting anything for free. So, what can I do for you? Something interesting happening in the world? Interesting? That depends. If the fusion of tech toys with the genetic creation labs interests you, then yeah. These two really went ahead with the merger? I thought the World Antitrust Division wouldn't allow it. Well, that is perhaps the other interesting news. The World Antitrust Division has been reconstructed by means of accelerated proceedings. Restructured? And that means? Now, it still only has a consulting function. That factually means it's been shut down. Now, don't be so negative again, Peter. Shut down. It has a consultant function. No more, no less. Okay, let's say it's been partly done shut down. And how'd the Knicks play? Lost. Big time? Very high. Against the computer? Against the simulation of the All-Star team from 2040. Really? Oh my god. They're still programmed according to Delta III standard. To lose against these guys is... is like... Embarrassing. Just mathematically, it's pretty much impossible. 142 to 56, Peter. I think I'm gonna cancel my subscription for the Virtual Palace. How long did you stay open last night? Uh, till 10, as always. Why? Hmm, 10 o'clock. That sounds about right. Did you see anything unusual around about 10? Well, the cops were there. Riot squad in full battle gear. I suppose a drug raid. The usual. They came to my house. The raid was actually on my floor. Uh-huh. You didn't do anything bad, did you, Peter? Admit it, you don't work for Greenberg and Winter all the time. You deal liquid mine from your apartment. No. Not liquid mine? What do you deal, then? Hyper shots? Devil sticks? Oh, come on! You can tell me! Really, Bob? It wasn't that funny yesterday. Not at all. The cops stormed the neighbor's apartment and arrested the father, a journalist. His name is Graham Oswald. Do you know him? Oh, yeah. The gone man with the gray hair. Well, my God, things like that happen. Maybe he didn't pay his taxes, or park wrong, or perhaps he revealed some national secrets. Did you hear or see anything that was unusual? No, nothing. They stormed the building and came out with some guy. He resisted a lot and yelled something, but I didn't understand it exactly. He yelled something? Can you please think about it? Maybe you can remember what it was. It, it could be important. Tell me, Peter, why does that actually interest you? It's too long a story to explain it to you right now. Besides, I have to rush over to the agency in a few minutes. Was anybody else in the streets besides you, of course? Well, I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. These two young guys, yeah, they were there. Two young guys? What did they do? They plastered the posters over the telescreen again. Alien Attack Club. Onto that public telescreen that's down the street? Exactly, Peter. Smack dab in the middle of your expensive advertising displays. Oh, they're pretty bold. Just a second, Bob. I'm going to take a look at that. Hmm. They don't see any posters there anymore. No, I know. Early this morning, there was a car from the central services there. They removed them again. They were also in your house. Yeah, right. There was a door to repair. What's all the fuss about this alien attack club, anyway? No idea. Crazy stuff. In what direction did the cops drive off? Downtown, as always. Over there, down the street. Over the Brooklyn Bridge. Okay. I have one more question for you. I gotta run, Bob. See you later. Okay. 